That's what it is. On God, I'm sure. I'm definitely. On God. Hey, well, we got new buttons. We got new buttons? In the upper corners. In the upper corners. Oh. Oh. I'm so mad that Nelly sampled that and actually rapped over that fucking sample. <laughs> the, fact that, the fact that Tommy acting like he not here, but he here. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Death Fresh Show. Clap it up. We in the building. This like episode. I don't even know no more. I did. I did real nigga shit. I just stopped counting. Y'all can count it, you know. Anybody in the comments? Which know? camera we on? We uh, here? Same one from okay. the back. Can you see where we are? Yeah, that's how okay. you make sure. I was making sure. You know, you told me you was high. I was just trying to make sure everybody was good. Oh, we got it. We got it. Last time y'all was high together, it didn't go well. I mean, I just ordered my chicken, so I should be. Well, that's good. She fainted. I was good. Mm-mm, they're not open. Yeah, they closed at eight now. What's up? I only got the only thing they can make. Let me pepper. <laughs> Get it wet. Whoa. You, you, you got to relax. And you know what? No, lemon but, pepper. They when I, stop actually has all right. sauce. Lemon they, pepper. They, they not the dry rib. All right. So. And niggas should not be out here dry rib. Before we get into. Uh, before we get into the, the like actual podcast and the show. Me and you, let's have a conversation real quick. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like we've been on enough cousin walks mm-hmm. that I can now say, Serena, you my nigga. Actually, we cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to keep my lewd and uh suggestive L- lascivious com- yeah, comments. comments to myself. Shout out to a little bit. Vibes. I'm I'm gonna try. I'm mm-hmm. we're gonna try to make progress in 2024. Because what I really want you to stop doing on the Death Rush show and Hostially Awkward, because I, I got this, I see you what two, I I'm about to tell you, because I see you two pods every so often. I want you and Mimi to stop telling me what y'all vagina do. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't think Tone gives a fuck either. I mean, I Just think stop it saying it out loud it comes while we in the room. Like, we don't care. You're supposed to put your earmuffs on. I'll be trying. Hard. You know, you just be we don't care hard. anymore. Should I like do a little signal before I'm about to say? Yeah, like, just do it, be like. Yeah, just you know, give a nigga a heads up because we don't we don't care. We don't care. But sometimes it just falls into a conversation. I wish it fall out of a conversation. I mean, that's not what everybody feels, you know. I Who is everybody? With, Who are these people? The, I gotta go with the public. What's the, what the public say? I'm waiting. I hope I hope they say nothing. I don't want uh, my comments to be full of what is Sarita's vagina like. Don't don't put that energy out That's there. That's the Erica Badu-ish. So, you know, it just might come across. I didn't I didn't say I didn't say. It's Erica Badu-ish. Hey, can you stop being gay for a second? Listen. Can you stop it? How Andre 3000 Can you stop it now? Hey everybody, I got my friend Donna in the building with a nigga today. Clap it up for Donna. You gotta give Donna a pass. Because Donna is just behaving the exact same way you behave when you met Serena for the first time. Yeah, because for Tone to look at me and lie in my face. <laughs> talking about talk about he didn't know you had all that ass. I did when I said Tone, did you know what was sitting in that chair? He was like, nah. I'm like, you a motherfucking liar. <laughs> Her very first show that I ever met Sarita on was a P3 show. Oh, and you. So she just blends in with the rest of the room. So I'm not. You assume looking. she was with a new member to the gang? No, she just blend in with the rest of the room. And you know, I don't look at them other ones like that. They like sisters to me. Okay. So I didn't look at her in that way either until y'all went crazy that she looked like the capital P and people. You know, there's a button on this quarter of the court, right? Mm-hmm. When the shit gets out of hand, we got to reel them in. <laughs> court is now in session. That's funny. When we got to start judging niggas because 2024, we are bringing back. I'm not judging. Culture still, court. Still not judging. Culture court. We're bringing it back. 
only because there's a lot of things that go on in this culture that we just supposed to accept because of some black shit. And I think it's <laughs> absolutely time, not. And I think it's time yeah. for some of that shit to just get dismissed. I agree with you. <laughs> like for an example, we all just had Thanksgiving. Hopefully we had a good Thanksgiving. But there is obviously something that tends to pop up on Thanksgiving menu in black households all the time. And I think it's about goddamn time we just go ahead and let it go. What you got? It's chitterlings, man. Agreed. Ew. Agreed. Like, I understand oh, this, our people. This is gonna, I don't understand. This, no, no. This, I understand this, that this, our people oh, this hurts. during this hurts. the time of slavery was yep. forced to eat whatever the fuck they can. Yep. But we can afford shit now. Okay, There's we can buy man. shit. We are gourmet chefs now. We are legally allowed to walk around in the good grocery stores without being questioned why you here. You should not be having a red tub with a white cap in your cart. <laughs> <laughs> we are I mean, past that. It exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm a, look. No, we in court. You got to come with the facts. Okay, I, look, bro. <laughs> I I feel. You gonna defend this shit? <laughs> I'm literal. Shit. <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying to. Literal. Okay. I'm not trying to. We here. Let's go. I'm not trying to. I'm going to lose my breath. <laughs> okay. Bro. Okay. 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 I'm going to lose my breath. Okay. I'm not trying to defend shit. Because I totally understand Ch where you coming Ch from. I Ch get Chitterlings. It. Okay. We the people of the black delegate. Delegation. Stand here. We black. We got to say delegate. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we the people, the black delegate, stand here before you, honor, and we say we are sick of this shit, figuratively and literally. Okay. No. Then, yeah. We have understood that over time that this pig has served this purpose in multiple different ways. We are not asking you to completely remove pork out of our agenda. Because ham is very much necessary mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving for those of us who do not want dry turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't forget the bacon, too. Bacon is always needed, period. I don't care what ribs. race, creed, or color you are. You know, ribs, rib tips. Exactly. You know, all the but we do not need anymore. the entrail. I'm describing all of it, but I don't, I don't need <laughs> it anymore. But I'm with you. I'm Take totally and un... chicken gizzards with you as well, too, as a <laughs> consolation. No, wait a minute. Chicken gizzards. No, no, I don't. I don't that's, give a damn about right. your career. She's from the it's, island. I don't that's what care. We do from the island. I'm sorry. That's, Keep that's that in it. the island. <laughs> They, yeah, they okay. Came, they came <laughs> now you might be crossing okay. racial barriers. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> I, I apologize, Your Honor. You know, I just want I just, um, you know, try to get try to kill two birds with one stone. Sorry. Pork is now in touch. But chitterlings need to fucking go. I don't even know if I'm saying them right. That's how much I hate them. Look, bro. I've I, I, I totally understand. Small and large intestines are not meant to be eaten. Ugh. I I feel you. Shit slap. No, they don't. Hot sauce. Shit. It is the hot sauce that you niggers are eating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that I need y'all to eat understand. The hot sauce by itself. If something you needs need to be seasoned is... up, if you need to douse it in barbecue, hot sauce, old bay, or anything that adds flavor, you are not eating it for what it is. You are eating it for the flavor. Leave that to the vegans. That is what they do. <laughs> Vegans will throw seasoning on something <laughs> yeah. and say it's a vegan version of that. Hey. When in actuality, they are just eating the flavor of what it was. <laughs> what it was? <laughs> you are so, not. I've been holding so, on to this one for some so, years so now. See, so see. seeing that I am clearly outvoted at this point with the people <laughs> like the cancel chitlins. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> now it's time for a small recess. You niggas went on one before court. <laughs> <laughs> I need <the> water. <laughs> Can you please bring the room some water? That's cool. Yeah, I might actually need one too. This time. <sighs> so, how was everybody's week? It was bullshit, actually. Bullshit? How, how about you, We Jimmy? was just talking about some of my week. Oh. You gotta talk. You gotta talk to the dick, please. Yes. You do too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's actually what we call my phone. It's a podcast. <laughs> it's fine. 
Yeah, we, we we just talked about some of my week. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, I said dick. I didn't use the B word. I don't, I don't care about that part. I'm um, not talking about that part. You, I was answering your question. <laughs> I was answering. I would question. like to get mine. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Why do you want to get a massage? Yeah. Do you want to swallow? Nah, all that. Right, all that. Right, just, lo, lo, just love me. Just, just love me a little bit. <laughs> it ain't even got to be for a long time. Without trying to fuck. No. Yeah, no. it'd be very, no. be very hard. I have Absolutely. to be focused like a motherfucker, but I, I think it's possible. Like, Bay went to the gym, yeah, so her lower yeah. back hurt like a motherfucker, right? And she really wants you to give a massage, right? Could you do it without trying to put your dick in her? Yeah, no. for sure. Because she, no, for one, she said it, she said something hurt. I feel like if your lower back hurt and then we start having sex, I'm gonna fuck you up. So let's just not do that. You actually said you're in pain. I got you. Because I would want you to cater to me if I told you that something hurt and you trying to be fucking Mr. Miss Grab ass and I told you, bitch, I'm in pain. So I would I would want you to, to do right. I mean, just do both. I would want you to do You know, you, you start off with a massage and everything and then you check first before you proceed. Oh, okay. Just as long as you ask that question, it's yeah. consent now. Oh, so, and, you know, we in a society we got to make sure that man, you gotta have to take care of that. Absolutely. Do you consent to this podcast? Hundred percent. Oh, okay. Yes. You, you want me to enunciate the yes? I yes, just, I consent. I just it's on camera. No yeah. matter. Because you know, you some know. sometimes oh, I just you know. You know. I ain't trying. I ain't trying. You know, I ain't trying. AI is a motherfucker. So yeah, you want me to say my full name too? Nah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We don't need all that. Yeah, no, no <laughs> govs in this mug. We don't need. You we don't need me. nobody trying to find you on Facebook, and then you got a whole new set of problems. So uh, you know, so, I got multiple names anyway. So Tom, You're terrible human being. You drink pirate water, so I don't trust you. See, no, this was bought for me, and you still drunk it, and I'm drinking it. It doesn't taste good. Is it, it wa- like what is it? Taste like? What <laughs> is it? Like, it's it's like, not like, water. Is it an it's energy not, drink? Is it, energy a, drink? Is it a, energy like a Mike Hard lemonade? That's is what it, it's like. Okay. Yeah, it's alcohol. It's cool. I had a long day. I had a liquid death one day. Threw me off. Yeah. Ain't that like water? Yeah. yeah. That's why it threw me yeah, off. If we sell that at work, I'll be like, man, that's crazy. Like, why is it called is? liquid? Death? Is it sparkling water? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, was it good? Yeah. Sparkling water. No. She's weird. She drinks volcano water. She can't talk. That's the thing. That's what that bottle is. It's right there on the bottle. Why do we have to go? Volcanic water. You learn something new every day. That's what you learn. Straight from the aisles of Waikiki. Yes. Waikiki. Why are you kinky? You got to slow it down. I think the whole island was kinky. So, I got a few. Uh, it is when chlamydia is being handed out. Whoa! All right. So hey, speaking, hey, speaking of that, you, bro. speaking of that, gotcha. I got some. I got gotcha. some. I got some quick hits, buddy. Gotcha. You see, I have you too. Have you have y'all seen those new commercials? Like, cause I watch a lot of YouTube. I'm surprised you didn't send me none. <laughs> you are slipping. <laughs> I've, this shit been on my mind, but like, I put the list together while I was at work. Like, I wasn't doing shit. But like, have y'all like? Do you watch TV? I haven't kind seen of, the new commercials, but that, these but these commercials are wild. Period. No matter what facts, like, like they make the having AIDS sound like a good fucking time, <laughs> and that shit is like that? crazy to me. Well, you know, today actually is National um, AIDS Day, and it's okay. a it's a party. Yeah. It's a party. I mean, it's awareness. I mean, you'll be. But here's the thing: there are so many people that actually have HIV right now, bro, that you wouldn't. You wouldn't know that shit. Right? Like thirty know. years ago, it was a death sentence. Now it's just like, yeah, put a little extra sprinkle in your coffee in the morning, you'll be good. Now, right? I it's feel like where, that's what they're telling them. Kind of where it is nice. right now, bro. Like, hey man, you know what? F- fuck as raw as you want to, bro. There's life after this. You got, we got you. Like what? Mm. what? And that's, but I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's how these commercials be making it seem. To a point to where you undetectable. Yeah. See yeah. what are we saying now, bro? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is it undetectable now? Like, just no, cure if it's true. undetectable, bro. Just cure. Just cure it. Just cure it. And, and charge. And they charge. Cannot, they this cannot, this is the reason. This, they this can't be wild. Cancer. The Illuminati, basically. This is be a wild statement I'm about to make right you. now. But that's fucking. Insane. Did the medical? Did Big Pharma realize that? AIDS or H- HIV was not going to be as profitable as, as cancer. So we just said, fuck it. We can't stretch this shit out like we can cancer. 
Pretty let's just go ahead and just you know give them a quick fix real quick because i definitely be thinking like bro because with cancer they, still- they, they they stretch that shit out they right. find multiple different ways to keep you on 17 years of treatment so they always guarantee to keep getting you money nobody can ever tell you exactly what cancer is yet you can get cancer in every aspect of your body see i think this is why they invented the group chat Cause it'd be some shit that I'd be wanting to ask on Facebook, but I'm you like, can't say it out but loud. I'm like, you can't say it out loud. Cause I definitely was sitting at the crib one day, and one different. of the commercials popped up. I was like, he was like, oh boy, watching TV. I was like, when the last time you heard about a motherfucker having AIDS? Mm-hmm. Like it just be certain sexually transmitted diseases that you just don't hear about no more. Because you and I just be like, when the last time a motherfucker caught like gonorrhea or something? And right. I feel like I can't ask that in public because they be like. Why? What you want, fam? You gotta get mm-hmm. stop getting high. You tripping? But, I'm like this but, real shit though. The thing about it is, is, curable diseases are just acceptable. Like I told you, when Teresa had, when she was working for Walgreens, and I still laugh about this today, she used to be stationed at the Walgreens on 35th in Wisconsin. Okay, regular job, doing her job. One day they asked her to go sub in at the one down by Marquette. She came home tired and exhausted never came home tired and exhausted before I was like what's going on why are you so tired she's like i have never filled so many chlamydia and gonorrhea prescriptions before in my life i have said that disclaimer to these pills so many times i know it by heart four days later i literally heard her saying it in her sleep that's crazy it's so curable that folks nobody cares anymore. Right. Like, let's keep it a buck. Herpes has gotten to the point where because people are knowledgeable, people got it and they just be like, Oh yeah, it's just not a it's not a situation and going like, on right now. I'm good. And the commercials be so casual. They be they be at the right. birthday party, mm-hmm. just in the jacuzzi, true. like yo, pop this pill, <laughs> you can get ill. Cause shit gonna get real. Like, what are y'all saying to us, bro? Having AIDS ain't cool, my guy. Stop it. That ain't even the bad part. The bad part is when they talk about the side effects of That's the what pills. I was just gonna say, like, always you go from having just regular chlamydia to gonorrhea, chlamydia AIDS, and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, side effects always be worse than and what I the fuck you bad. actually always. have. I I'd rather bad. just have the one instead of fifty other things. I, I go feel bad for women. And lose because apparently the minute you think about getting pregnant, everything goes haywire. If you can't take this pill, you can't take that you pill, can't you can't do this, you nothing. can't do that. So you just pregnant. And let's just say you you no good for nothing, baby daddy. Couldn't wait for the fact that you gotta wait nine months to pop this kid and he goes out here and slides on somebody and you decide to actually give it up to him. Now you got the whole clap, got a whole round of applause going on down there, and you can't take nothing to it. That's while crazy. pregnant. That's crazy. It's a very interesting uh question. Ever happened to you? Oh, right. Okay. I'm like that sounded real you know. personal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you speak you speak from experience. Yeah. I just I just think, <laughs> like, like, I just think very deep. <laughs> like, wait a minute. No, because you know, every time you read medicine, they be like, Don't take while you're pregnant or nursing. So it's like everything says don't take while pregnant or nursing. I'd be like, damn, don't y'all can't have a bad except day. for natural stuff. And even then, Plant, that's true. Plant-based medicine. And even that's true. So, I got you allergic to grass. I got a, uh, I got a grocery yeah, store question for you, Tom. You know, I thought you would be the expert in that. I, <laughs> I, I think you might understand this one. Though. So, um, do you think that tomatoes should just be by themselves? Oh, shit. Why is that a question? It should be the dividing line. So as you set up the produce section, okay? Right. As you set it up, the vegetables are on one end, fruits are on the other end, tomatoes should be in the middle. In some places, they actually are. So it makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's that first time to have like that. Yeah. yeah. That That's how I would organize it. Because we don't know what Why a tomato Why did that bother you? That didn't bother me. Just watch where I'm going. So. Once you understand <laughs> us, you would understand that because I'm already knowing where he's going. <laughs> he already knows. <laughs> you do, right. nah, not, again, I'm slipping because it was a whole video to this, which is wild. Do you believe transgender should have their own sports leagues? Should they yes. just be alone? No, all bullshit aside, 
yes. Will we watch it? Probably, Probably not. not. But should it exist? <laughs> but someone should put effort that when it comes to transgenders, you do need to be in a separate category or at least have, uh, what is it called in Gaul? A handicap. A handicap in regards to how it is. <laughs> You're what, high, that's why you're laughing. what is it called? <laughs> Dog, yeah. go because you're at a disadvantage. Yeah. Go, so, well, and they've so never changed. And they've never yeah. changed. They'll never change it. But you also so, like, remember, racist Olympics. white men are the ones who go. See, lot, so. that's yeah. a, I had what? asked, like, but no, Olympics yeah, that, that, category, right? So. Because just because I'm in a wheelchair don't mean that I don't like basketball. I want to play basketball. So, boom, all you niggas in a wheelchair, we got a wheelchair league. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, but that's just what it is. It's just the we it. had to make women's sports a thing because some of y'all good, but a lot of y'all can't fuck with these niggas. So y'all have y'all own lead to be better than y'all. I don't think you know that's not why it started. And though, I know right? that's yeah, not why it started, but it's just whatever. It's like there are women's sports because they cater to a woman's audience. I mean, I know some niggas that like the WNBA, but we cater into the, we want the females to come and enjoy some sports. You know, not every chick want to go to see a bunch of niggas. I'm just saying, I don't know. Yeah, some do. But I feel what you're saying. Right. So, and then it's like if you can, you know, make exception for the special needs and the handicap, why we can't make the same exceptions for transgenders? Because I don't think it's fair because you as a dude suck. So you like, well, I'm 134 in basketball with the niggas. So I'm going to just be like, I identify as a woman and go beat the shit out of some chicks. I don't think that's right. You want to hear something funny? And I'm going to see if you remember this. But that's what they do. I'm going to see if you remember Did that dude, he could not swim with the dudes. So he was like, if I'm going to become a woman and change my sex, I'll be the best female swimmer in the game. And that's what the fuck happened. He went from being ranked 158 to being the number one swimmer. Because he identifies as a woman. Like, bro, that's not fair. Now, what about the chicks who working hard, putting their time and effort in to do these laps, and now you, because you want to tuck your dick and balls, you think you're better than me. Why? Niggas got to stop it, bro. Like, Why? that's Why? insane. But you know what's funny, though? It's only, it's only the men who identify as a woman that this actually matters. Because women that identify as men and go through the transition to be a man they're not trying to be in men's sports. You ever notice that? Yeah. The whoa, whoa. I think it was one situation with some MMA shit. But that's different. MMA is different. I'm just saying, but he that's, was... That's me physically versus you. So if I feel like, regardless of whatever fucking gender, race, height, that's size... That shit's unfair. If Don't... I feel like I can whoop your ass at four foot three... I'm going to step in this ring and try to whoop your ass. Yeah, but I don't three. feel like they should let men transition into women, fight women. True. That's fucking insane. Only I'm not saying you can't feel stronger. You still right. Like I'm not. And see, and I feel like this is where people get to disconnect. Like when you say, I don't think that that should happen. They be like, oh, well, you just you don't want us to compete. No, I want you to compete. I want you to have your shit. But I want it to be you versus other people like you. I agree with you on that. Because you as a man transitioning into a woman, you are still a man. That's a fucking cheat code. You know what's gonna happen, one. I'm just saying that's no, no, fine. Hear me out. You know what's gonna happen? There's gonna be about two or three that's transitioning. That's gonna take a dive to make it work in their favor. Because if you 134 in the men and you go over here to the women and you still 67, we're not gonna complain. They're gonna be like, "Oh, look, the playing field is even. He's just one exceptional part." Jeez. So you just got to go out here and take some L's knowing you can beat some bitches up? No, you can take the L's so you don't look too obvious. The world is That's what they going to do. Oh, they just be setting us up. All this life shit. They're going to do. They're going to they gonna cheat the system to cheat the system. That's a mess. It's a mess, but sadly. But why? What's up? You watch movies, right? Sometimes. Okay, since we're on this topic. <laughs> of transgenders? Yeah. <laughs> or men pretending to be women to compete. Niggas gotta stop putting on dresses and wigs. First of all, we're not going I'm to Joanna not- Man, all right? And that's exactly <laughs> where know. I was going. Because that's literally probably where they got the idea from. 
my guy got suspended from whatever the fictitious NBA was that he played for. And then went to go play and for went the to go play for the WNBA. I just, I and then started dating the coach. You gotta do it. You, you got. You got to do. You got. You got. <laughs> you got to do whatever you got to do to get a check. And I hope that I never. I hope that league got, got suspended. Like when you, like when you see the roles that people be taking. Right. Like no, like when you see, like you watch, like Juanima. Like there is no way anybody sat in that room, read that script, was like, oh, this is gonna be a hit. Apparently um, he did. Nobody <laughs> thought that. You well, cannot. But you have to remember. Anybody time, sat the in the writing was, room, it was like, this is going to be good. Well, let's one. also think about the fact, too, that we had Flex as Michael Jackson. No, no, no. We're not even going to talk about Dog because bro did what he had to do for his family. Right, yeah. He had to get we, paid. We, we hate him for the role. But we understand. And shout out but to his good. team because I can't find that on the internet. No, oh, he worked hard. Mm-hmm. So really? for them to get that shit wiped <laughs> that shit off the face, like, bro, that shit not even on Tubi. Like, you okay, only, you only see pictures of him as Michael Jackson. I cannot find that. Movie. Can't find yeah. that movie. You gotta wait until Michael Jackson's anniversary. It's and then they play it on Lifetime every year. For real? Every year, every single movie that they I'm have ever made, they played on Lifetime. Every year. I'd be too busy trying to watch the real Michael Jackson movie, The American Dream. The one that was like five days long. With Jason Weaver. Yeah. That's yeah. The shit. He's still getting paid. You know, that's how he got the you know, Mike showed up at the recording, and that's how he ended up getting um uh, the Lion King gig. Huh? Yeah. yeah. He said that. Yeah, Mike got him the Lion King gig. But why are we on the topic of sports? Because you're getting too wild. Oh no, I was getting ready before we go to sports. Juan, you also have to remember, time when Juana Man came out, first of all, cross-dressing in movies was a big deal. And I'm not. You got, I got, there's one movie. I mean, Big Mama's House. No, uh-huh. we're not even going to talk about the black movies. It was one movie that by a man putting on a dress, destroyed box offices, is the reason why them execs think everything is okay. This is Doubtfire? That is correct. Exactly. Everybody not rocking with me. They didn't care. They didn't look at it as it was Robin Tyler, Williams. Tyler Perry and Madea could be real goddamn close. <laughs> I was actually thinking the same thing. He getting paid. Hey, we got a whole studio. But again, I'm cross dressing. I just yeah. feel like when something works, just because you did it, don't mean I should try. Well, just because, just because Martin got that shit off. <laughs> He barely got it off. My, what's the folks' name? Miguel Nunez. He ain't no. Who the fuck is he? Last time I seen dog, he was a family business working for Tyler Perry. So I, I'm just saying, bro, he nigga Paul ain't fun. the family. He business. not funny. He not good at his job. He was good for the time that he was out. He is pretty Ricky. What they call him? He was good. <laughs> that's the, the time he was out. That, that's the best thing he's known for. If you ask me, you know him for. But the time he was out, he played. He was a great supporting actor. He would be if you made Morris Chestnut the star of your movie, that needs to be his friend. And that is how you get a successful movie. Because during the time both of them niggas was out, bitches was flocking to the movies. That's fine. I give that. No disrespect to the women. So but so you guys follow the news of any sort? Like sports I news? Well, I, hate the news. So I really try not so, to I work at Pato. That's all I watch. You Does anybody Pato. in the Sorry, room here. know who Josh Giddy is? Giddy. Yes, he is a white boy. That's the white boy who's talking to the underage girl, right? Yeah, he out here doing yeah, some real, about it here. real nasty shit. He got so, it, okay. So, well, how old is he, first of all? Josh Giddy's 21. It doesn't matter. She's right. 18. She's under 18. He, so, I mean, like, how far? Okay, 18? but look. But, like, was she what? about to be 18 okay, but, tomorrow? <laughs> or was it, look. was it she was 13? Look. And it was wrong back then. Wrong now. Now, it's Josh Giddy has yet to be like suspended or anything. Like he's still getting to play. Well, take a step back. When did this actually occur? This is all like recent. It's all like recent shit. But again, yeah. like let's take it to account. Josh Giddy plays in Oklahoma. Mm. The rules of to life are really different, different in Oklahoma. Yeah. So like. Say like, cause they ain't even reveal like how old she is. So we really don't like, we don't know nothing. We just know the only thing that they really got is a picture of them, and it surfaces on the internet. But it's like, okay, if she's underage, that's nasty. That's fine. Yeah. But again, the 
the, the legal age of consent in Oklahoma might be 17, might be 16. We don't might fucking know. 13. I hope not, because that's nasty. That's like real nasty. In Oklahoma? Mm-hmm. I See? That. That's nasty. Why y'all want to fuck 16 year olds? It's 16. I wasn't even trying to fuck at 16. Because it wasn't nothing but 16 year olds. <laughs> I ain't had no sauce to be macking on old bitches just yet. I didn't get, I didn't develop that until I was like 21. And even then, I, I was, I wasn't even ready. I shouldn't have been on that side of the, like okay. the swimming so, pool. This happened two years ago because it's an old picture. Okay. So that means at the time he was 19. He was at a club that you got to be 18 or older to get in the club. But apparently, this club is notorious for letting underage people get in. So when he found out that the girl was 16 years old, he ended it the very next day. So when he found out, so ah, he was deceived. Oh, okay. Well, see, they, they get off his back now. See if, if that's that if why. that's the real story. See, then, that's why I was asking. Me. Yeah. But that's but yeah. you see, I get where you was going with it, and the outrage needs to be like that because if it was a black kid and the same situation happened, they'd be up. You could be 19 and still in high school. A little stupid, but you could be 19 still in high school. Some yeah. people graduate late. Yeah, some people graduate late. So if you're 19 still in high school, but there's this freshman, a sophomore that like likes to cut of your jeans, are you supposed to say, No, bitch, I can't talk to you when all you yes. hang around is high schoolers anyway? Yes. Uh, you supposed to say no? You supposed to say yes? You supposed to say no? You're supposed to say no. But but you know, am I, I really? I'm not. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> no, the only reason why I'm, I'm not, I don't agree, I agree with her. Okay, let's first put that out there. I agree with her. But the reason why I bring it up because there's so many uh, high school athletes right. who lost college scholarships and opportunities all because the dad of the yeah. girl was like, "Oh no, not my," you know, not precious my, little flower. Right, and okay. they lose everything. When it's like, well, who the fuck am I supposed to talk to? This is the only place I'm ever at is here at high school. You know what? In that sense, it would be normal. It's a little more accepted because you're still in school. Right, but proximity. But or even let's let's take the 19 out of let's just say 18, because a lot of us are 18 our senior year. Before Mm -hmm. we walk across the stage, we're still 18. I we we can't talk to our junior. I don't want a victim blind. Cause that's so that's not what that's not that's not what. Is she a victim though? Wait, just let, let me let me let me get the thought out. Cause it's like I'm not I don't want a victim blind. Cause that's not what I want to do. But at what point does someone else need to be responsible in this situation here? Like if if it's not me, she's gonna do it with the next motherfucker who's not going to be me and say no. Mm-hmm. So at some point you gotta like you hot in the ass and you being a little fast and you being out there and your but parents need to reel you back in. Like why is this shit my fault? Well, yes and no because the thing is it could be another learned behavior that they could have been groomed by someone else, and so they're kind of going through that pattern. So that's where it's kind of like it's a touchy one because like I see what you're saying. Where I'm like, yeah, you definitely need to be talking to this child and say what's the root cause of you right. doing what you're doing. But then also, right? Don't don't be trying to be call the law on me, press charges, get your bitch ass done. But in their case, but that's why you also got to be different. careful because this is why I'm so glad I have daughters and not sons because this is a conversation you got to kind of have with your son that mm-hmm. you got to be careful with who you date. I used to read it for an example. She has Absolutely. a son that's athletic. He's famous. He's known. This nigga's going to take over the NFL one day. Hopefully, he goes to the Eagles so I can actually cheer him. Fuck, <laughs> Fuck the Eagles. Fuck <laughs> you. you just hating because we're great right now. We've been great for a while. Why are you going against a black quarterback that's getting his shit off? You and everything you stand for. We're getting back to what I was saying. My quarterback is black. But his Lambo was not blue. No, but, oh, <laughs> but, but, but I know for a fact bitches was all over dog in high school. Okay, bitches was all over him in college. College is a little bit different because everybody grown, but high school is that tricky age. So I know Sarita had to sit down and tell him, like, look, we are open minded people. You can date whoever you want to, but stay away from them young white women. 
You know why? Because the minute you don't do what they want you to do, they will Listen. bring up everything Listen. that's wrong about this situation and immediately run to the authorities about it. I had two sons. That's a constant argument with me and their dad. Y'all not allowed to date white girls. I don't care. I don't see my son like has, but the other part, you know, the other part of that though too is that his dad is his dad is half white. See, so, he should know that. No. So there you Absolutely go. Absolutely not. So that's where I can be like, eh. I saw more but I get that, TikTok. like, it's okay because and that's technically you're 25 percent We're not friends white. on social media. <laughs> you, you're not? Maybe, those, maybe 30, but, but you know, like. Those 100 we'll percent white women, <laughs> on the other hand, they play a different game when it comes to dating because, Tom, right, and this is not me being racist. This is just no, history has shown. Tony, you got you to gotta let it go. No, as long as they do shit like this, he don't you don't let it go. I'm not letting it go. He do because he don't even go. deal with these kind of people. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Heard, this is I the agree. reason why. <laughs> he, it like, doesn't matter. He be I mad agree. at some I people. Agree. He avoid. I agree. Them. I agree. And I am giving you every single reason why I avoid them. So you too, young man, as you're growing up listening to this podcast, can avoid them as well too. But remember, you're talking to white boy Juan. So <laughs> you know what? That's why he's going so hard. For <laughs> I, thank you for reminding me of his racial ambiguity. <laughs> <Later. laughs> How did I get? See, this, this is where we disconnect at, because you know I'm usually the white girl out the bunch, and I can't. no, no, he's he, we we actually claim that he's white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we don't know his dad and everything, so that's right. what we come to the conclusion. Of. Apparently, apparently, my dad got a white a white daughter. They think I'm white. Yeah. There's no way you can have a white daughter with a black man. Yeah, whatever. Unless. Black Michael people Jackson. don't make white people. I mean, he slept yeah. with some white women. Unless you Michael Jackson. That's his. That's his bad. No, he went backwards. Though. That's his bad. But you know, saying, stop dating young girls. So one is white. Yeah. But yeah, all I'm saying is that's a tricky situation. The, the age of consent is 16 in Oklahoma, mm-hmm. yeah. even though they she's from California, so it's 18 there. So that's a tricky situation. I was just more still looking at. I was like, so. My man's wave a whole fucking four five on Instagram. They got him right out of here. Josh Giddy being painted as the candy man. <laughs> and he's still on the court shooting Not jump shots. Candy, what the fuck are we doing? Here? Here's the difference though. My man's with the gun. We pulled you to the side already. We had a conversation. <laughs> we told you once before. Yeah. Bro, hey, stop being again. a nigga. You can't be a nigga no more. You don't need to be a nigga no more, okay? It, you don't need to be out here proving to the world that you a street nigga. You got out the hood one of the three ways you get out the hood. Mm-hmm. You don't need to go back to the hood. You are not C-Murder, okay? Yeah, because you, you don't want to end up like C-Murder. You are out already, my guy. And then he did it again. Yes, he did. And he yeah. showed no remorse when he did it again. So that's when they be like, you know what, bruh? Since you want to be a nigga, we're going to treat you like a nigga. And this is what we do to niggas. Absolutely. That's what they do to niggas. That's now, why. Josh, he's doing what white boys do. So they're treating him like a white boy because they're looking <laughs> at the law, which is what white folks do. <laughs> <laughs> white folks don't handle shit themselves. They get the law involved. Right. They let the law do it. They let the law work, they they let the yep. law work it out. And they favor and that's why he's time. in the court. I I enjoy watching the Oklahoma City Thunder play when basketball. The law, when the law looks like it's not going to go that way, they find a way to pay it off. You can buy the law. I, I wish I had white privilege. You do? You, white you white do. You just, I don't have white privilege. Well, your credit score is over impeccable. 900. You have white privilege. How is it impeccable? Because I live at home. What you need to like do. most white people. See, you know see? You, ah, uh, ah, right. ah, ah, ah. You know how I know you're misusing your white privilege? This is how you misuse it. First of all, you're going by your middle name. Okay? So since your middle name is Juan, they don't know if you're black or Hispanic. So you're mm-hmm. already a person of color. You're already down the totem pole. You strike number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, your government name, as those know, is Marquise. Yeah. Okay? Absolutely. In order to truly take advantage of your white privilege, you need to just drop it down the mark. Leave it at Mark. Yo, get oh, oh, with the Q. Mark Juan. <laughs> just leave Q. it at Mark. Mark Juan. Don't even bring the Juan in. Just Mark Dinkins. 
Jenkins you. has European descent to it. <laughs> you so you can easily <laughs> start doing all your applications as Mark, Mark Dinkins, Dinkins. And I guarantee you, you will start seeing the taste of your white privilege. Yep, you're gonna be in so many interviews, it's gonna blow your mind. Next job application. Put Mark Dinkins. Mark I'm Dinkins. doing that. It's Mark Dinkins. Because yeah. I thought I was gonna need one after today. What the hell well, did what you happened? do? My coworker, he decided to be like some inside out jeans. He was real out of pocket. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's unpack this. Real out of pocket. And so, then I'll go ahead and tell you why I'm on my fourth job already. <laughs> so, now, anybody like <laughs> I work in the meat department of <laughs> Paul's. He has the meats. Yeah. Paul. Like all of them. Big he handles the ham. Paul's but still don't work. Can as you get the yams? So, we have a rap machine, which in, it, it helps <laughs> you know I know rap the product. You got a lot going on. He <laughs> yeah, has Boom. a rap machine that helps him rap his meat. Yeah, <laughs> keep it safe. You know, gotta keep it safe. Keeping the fresh. But this motherfucking rap machine kind of be on the fritz, and it, like sometimes it eats the packages, and it just fucks up everything. So much. Yeah, it's just eating the meat. <laughs> it's just eating the meat. Pause. Man, I don't like it. <laughs> so anyway, like I'm having like complications with this situation, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying yeah. to be complications with rap and your meat. Yeah, is that why Raw's law? Yeah, okay. pretty much. Makes sense. And <laughs> the machine is just fucking up these packages, so I'm back. Like I'm frustrated that the machine is fucking up these packages, and then like you don't he, mess with the package he, at all. He turned around and he like, well, God damn it. You know, God damn it, Juan, I told you to hand wrap. I'm like, yo, first of all, let's stop all this right now. Let, let's take let's take a couple <laughs> steps back. Who are you talking to like this? Bro? Like, like what you what, what you saying to me? He was like, I told you what I'm like, yo, yo, why are you yelling? <laughs> so now I'm talking to him, like, why are you yelling? He like, because I'm, I'm like, yo, you and you there are better ways to talk to people. Because my I'm the boss's nephew. So who you really talking to? Oh, so that makes sense. You are white. And I lead this <laughs> motherfucker you, you right really now. You so if you, Mark Dinkins, you just go so by that. if I walk out this motherfucking back room, who gonna do this shit? Because it's just gonna be you back here right now. So who are you talking to? So I hear him using his white privilege, so his, his white status. Right. So I, I hear a lot. I, 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 he's, he's, he's adjacent to, to management. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I hear so much bro. nepotism. Right. Like, I, did, I hear so much I didn't that like, white people do coming out of this conversation. I didn't like what he was like, because why are you talking to me like this, bro? We've been having a good day. Are you trying to rectify the situation? Someone get the manager. Yeah. I'm like we've been having. We're doing a Karen. I'm like, yeah. what's the male equivalent to a Karen? Kevin, what? Mark. <laughs> See, six degrees of separation, drop down to two. There it is. All I'm saying, I'm I'm was this episode that. Mark Dinkins. <laughs> <laughs> Marky Mark. Dinkins. The court versus Mark Dinkins. Ah, I'm with it. But like, I was having, we was having a good day. We was laughing, we was joking. It was just uh-huh. being, co- we was being coworkers. No. Nope. No, you're that's the problem. And you thought that you guys were co workers. He he thought he thought he's he he thought he was he's gonna, higher on the total. Problem. He no, he thought he was gonna hold me. He thought he was gonna just get to yelling and I was gonna be like, Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do my job. <laughs> nah, hey, bro, I don't know the fuck you think this is, but I leave this motherfucker place, bro. I don't like eh. I ain't trying to tell you I don't need a job, but like you not, I don't know who fuck you think finna be working with you and you speaking to them like that because it ain't gonna be this nigga. I don't know what kind of other niggas you done had working back here, but this nigga, we're gonna operate in a level of respect. I ain't never got out of pocket with you like that, and I don't really fuck with you like that. <laughs> and I come to work and I just we chill, but I don't fuck with you, but I understand to get along and make this not a pain in the ass kind of day. Play the role. Yeah. We chilling. We good. If I got See? some candy, you want some candy? We so, good. Once again, um, another plus for the white side. He's uh, yeah, playing and saving face. So mm-hmm. we'll just. Bro, bro, I don't know what he was thinking. 
Then he walked past me like 20 minutes later. He was like, you know what, man? I'm sorry. I just got, I got a lot on my mind. I'm like, you're going to have something on your ass. Keep playing with me, folks. Like, dog, I'm not <laughs> fucking can, with can your ass. Okay. Yeah, pause. But I'm not fucking <laughs> with you old niggas. Like, bro, get your ass slapped up back here, man. <laughs> not slapboxing. With a steak, nigga. Uncut, <laughs> like, bro. With a, that shit, with bro, a pork bro, shoulder? I'm like, yo, what is... In here with the raw meat. Man, what is you on, folks? <laughs> That shit had me. I was like, "Fine." I don't yeah. care if your girlfriend. Pause. I don't care if your raw girlfriend pause. left you. <laughs> That's another another name in the episode. Raw pause. That shit was crazy. And why are you on your fourth job, uh, Mr. Lucky? Okay. <laughs> yeah, what What are you doing today? Man, <laughs> That's you, what we on at you this point. Damn near, you You finna be Tommy in a minute. Is he Is he worse than me? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, Shit just I don't know how many jobs you know. Why? Now you know. Uh, that's what I'm nah, saying. Shit now just you been know. ill the last few months. So the driving job kind of abruptly stopped. Okay. Had no control over it. Life is life. So I've actually been out here without a job for a minute now. Just don't tell people that. Dog, just you be at home? <laughs> I'll be thinking, dog, I'll be thinking, dog, don't ever work. Keep it ignoring everybody, too. Like, he on every Yo, message. He keep on face, too, because, like, you probably just, he's like, look, he, he fuck saw, it. I don't, I don't talk to you saw, niggas anyway. He like, saw it right away. <laughs> But it's like I'm gonna go ahead and wait like eight hours to respond and make it look like because that's that's normal. Day, that's what I do. Well, it was yeah. that night. I personally I don't even think like that. It's funny. <laughs> I actually been handling household shit. I've been been handling business. Hey, and low key, stay at home dad. Not to a certain extent. Yeah, I would say mm-hmm. that. When I used to call in, like when I thought it was cool to have like all your coworkers on, on your Facebook friends list. Can't do that. Yeah, learn learn the hard you way. Know, you got pick and choose. But like when I would call in. I would avoid, like I would be on Facebook, but like I would say nothing, cause I'll be like, He's watching. yeah. And then when I get, then when I get off, like when I knew my shift would be over, then I start, then, back, then I start like posting, start talking. Right. So had three jobs, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the job market. I know me. I'm I got a, a nice set of skills that I can get a job. With no problem. Okay. Got a particular set. Of you finna venture? I, do. I got a particular. Set you finally finna venture in the porn? <laughs> Clap it up. Finally, you a freaky guy, bro. <laughs> nigga. I got <laughs> that sounds like that too. Nigga, I got eight He's actual porn like... stars as friends. Why would that? You know what? That's Side a whole point. Con- not oh, a whole other conversation. Side the point. Not no. the point. It's not what we here for today. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you, you think you know your friends? I mm-hmm. swear, you think you know your friends? Sometimes you know me. me. I'm both with me. Whoa. <laughs> oh. But so I kind of want to hide to it, but I won't. No, no. So, I on this, just, see, this is just, <laughs> can't tell stories on the show. These side conversations. <laughs> so while doing the job hunt, I end up getting a few offers. Okay. Oh, sorry. I got a job <laughs> working with autistic kids. I think we talked about that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Why is that funny? Working it with be. autistic kids. <laughs> what did you have to do? I literally had to be responsible for. I thought he was going to say it had to be me. <laughs> <laughs> me. That would have been hilarious. Like, I, I just got to be me. <laughs> but, no, I was literally supposed to be like, edu- I was like literally a personal. Well, how old were these Were you kids? choking them? <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to describe like... it and not sound too fucked up. Oh, you never understand. <laughs> they paid you to do it? No. You're I was a sick actually, man. I was, I was a like, sick individual. Like, they were under six. So That's like, a dream job. <laughs> under six. They were under six years old. So it was basically like learning, teaching, you know. Okay. Working with were them. they like the nonverbal kind? It, it depended on the kind that you were your your client. Okay. So you would get a you would get a portfolio of the no, child before you work with them. So you, you knew. Because he has a little portfolio and everything. Oh my well, God. you gotta know who you working with. Yeah, we're right. <laughs> it's like them. I, my, hey, don't be sad. My no, sister no. school got a thick ass IEP phone on. Right. Like, I gotta I know. Have, I gotta I know. Have an autistic that's brother. I, okay. That nigga okay. folder has been thick they got, for years. I gotta know what's wrong with that little right. motherfucker. You gotta know what you're dealing with. <laughs> And even it was nonverbal one, you know I could work with that monkey nonverbal. Mikey, so Mikey like this. 
He do love titties. Yeah, ain't wrong. Either. That nigga love titties. Well, again, <laughs> all right. Again, nonverbal. Just okay. nonverbal. He's a real nigga. It's nonverbal. Okay, so uh, you had a. Did you even? Did you have a day with the kids though? I'm getting there. Nah. <laughs> you back out for oh, no, yeah. you. Yeah. Hold on. Let me tell the whole story. <laughs> all right, you know, all right come on, man. Good, and then it just ended. So uh, the funniest thing is during the hiring process, during the interviews, they ask you these questions, right? It was like, they asked me, well, what would you do if the kids started throwing blocks and stuff at you? <laughs> and I'm trying it's my like, best not to laugh <laughs> and give a real nigga response. Because I'd have said throw back. Like you mm-hmm. little kid, gonna scrap it. Like to, you know. Like, so I gave, I gave him there, and then it was like when the second one. Well, what if the kid is violent and they start throwing blocks and they're fighting and whatnot? I was like, hold on, it was just blocks the first round. Why is it biting in the second <laughs> round? <laughs> <laughs> he said round two. We gotta up it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> like now, now I'm thinking in the back of my head the question of how many fifth graders do you think you could fight? <laughs> <laughs> All right, how many do you think you can beat up? How many fifth graders? Mm-hmm. And they come in waves of ten. Waves of ten. Oh, but now I don't remember. Autistic. See now and I got their size. See size now I got to think about that. that Lily, Lily, Lily's a, a, the fifth grader. So now I'm looking at the size of Lily, and if I got ten of them coming at me, yeah. Yeah. see, <laughs> and she thick. Yeah. I, yeah, Tom. What, what could you no, do? With, no, man. What could you do with that? I don't know. Man. Ten, ten out there look like that. Did they look like Lily? Or they, they just like, built like Lily? No, like Lily. We gonna, gonna be some chair swinging, <laughs> some flowers. So, bringing. but interview process. So, got the job. They were so you know I killed them. Were they I, white people? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. So I killed the interview because biting is crazy. The sad mm-hmm. part was they were only offering me like fifteen dollars an hour for the job. Okay. Not if these motherfuckers biting. All right, hey. hold on. That's how we got the job at number two. So of course you don't take your first offer. It's on the table. So I, even though I told them yes, I'll consider the job. I'm still out here looking. Never. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like let me see if y'all can match or make better. But I ain't got to deal with biting a, a autistic children. <laughs> so then I end up getting offered to uh, Wisconsin Title Loan. So I now that seems I'm, like your wheelhouse. Now I'm going from violent autistic kid to nigga. I'm gonna take your car if you don't pay this high ass interest loan. You have to be the repo man. Yep. I have to be the one to start the process to get it moving. So I you come make so y'all point. walk into my office and I'm sitting here and I gotta see if you are worthy of me even giving you this money and then I gotta sweat you to get my money every two weeks. So if we don't got you set up on auto pay to get my money. I gotta sweat you for your for my money. After so many times of sweating you for my money, I'm coming to get your car. Oh, so you like sure, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, nah, that was gonna be the next job. Money two days later, if you don't got right. Okay. Ice picking you in the kneecap. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, they never said I couldn't do that. <laughs> so, um, did you end up taking this job, or how so, much was they offer? They were they were offering sixty. Okay, it's a little bit better. Job is a little bit closer to the crib. I'm cool. I'm I'll say yes to that one. So, you know, looking at the dates, I was like, okay, which one starts first? They both started on the same date. I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to tell one of them no in order to get the other one. Then I got a call from Verizon. Let me back that up. I got a call from a company representing Verizon. Oh, so they people contacted you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have people? Do I have people? Yeah, you have people. I always have people. But you know what I mean. Like, yeah. you have people. Okay. So you contact me, said I qual- like looking at my resume, all these jobs, all these qualifications look good. We want to go ahead and offer you this job. Okay. So I was like, okay, what's the job? The job is you're going to be a customer service representative. I'm like, cool, I can do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put you in our manager training program. So you're going to be two weeks in this customer service thing. And then after that, we're going to immediately move you into the team lead position. You're going to work as a team lead for about two to four months. After about four months, you're going to end up being a manager. You're going to have your own department, your own division. You control your own hire and firing. So you'll be able to run the market. Now, we're not going to have you selling phones, but we're going to have you selling Verizon Internet. And that's what we push it. Okay. So I'm like, okay, cool. Y'all saying all the right things for me right now. What's going on? 
And then it was like, yeah, if the pay is between $700 to $1,200 a week based on how you perform, and we do get paid weekly. I'm like, shit, you got me sold now. Because even if I do the math, it's definitely more than $16 an hour. You're putting me on the track to be management. Eventually, I'm going to set my own hour. Only catch 22 is in this customer service role, I got to work 8 to 12. I mean, 12 to 8, 12 to 8. So, you know, I'm already worried. Like, okay, I got shit to do. Talk to Teresa. Like, all three jobs on the table, because they all start the same day. She was like, go with the Verizon one. It sounds better. It's up your wheelhouse. It's what you do. It's good. Go for that one. So, all right, cool. Get the stamp of approval. I go with the Verizon one. I call the autistic and the title loan job. And I say, you know what? Sorry, but no, thank you. I got other things going on. I'm going to take this instead. Monday morning comes around. So give me the address. I pull up to Regis at Bayshore. Now, if you don't know what Regis is, Regis is a fancy ass five wise. Okay. So this company doesn't even have a real office yet, but I let it slide because the way they were promoting everything was we're well, new yeah. in the area. We we're using this space for now. And then we're going to get our own space. Once we get settled in the whole nine yard, I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, you can say internet from anywhere. Right, it's cool. Like the way y'all talking, I was like, it's cool because we ain't got our own space. Once I get to moving and grooving, I'm building my team. I got my own office space here at Sherman Phoenix. Yeah. Boom, I got my own space. My team gonna work right out across the hall here, make get my money's worth, right? Mm-hmm. So I got it all planted in my head. <clears throat> we do the paperwork, we take the photo IDs, we're doing all the different things. We get done with orientation, we come back the next day. Okay. They gave us a script. Now, if you've ever worked a call center job, you know that they want you to talk a certain way. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. I'm good at that. I already know about internet because I work the spectrum, and I'm just a techie nigga, period. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to fucking destroy this job. It started with five other people. Okay, so that Monday, five people. Me, five bitches. Thick bitches, too. I'm like, yes, it should be a great day. I'm It'll be a great day. day. Everything is just sun is shining. Great day. Tuesday, it's cold as fuck. One of the super cold days. Tuesday before Thanksgiving, on top of that. Come in. We're in the little office room. There's like eight people. First of all, only one chick that's, that was with me yesterday showed up today. It's like, well, maybe they got people starting at a different schedule. Maybe, you know, the other four started then, and then we start here. And it's cool. They are going over this script, and they are reading it verbatim, like word for word saying everything to each other till they memorized it. I'm like, okay, I guess they just want to make sure we, you know, good with communicating. And then it was like, okay, go and change our shoes. We're about to go out and, and walk around. I'm like, walk around. Fuck. I hop in the car with three other niggas. They drive me to a neighborhood somewhere off of Fond du Lac in Mill Road. They stuck me with a happy ass light skinned dude and had us going door to door, knocking on people's doors saying, Hey, you want this Verizon internet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I laughed the whole time. Oh That's fucking laugh, funny. Laughter is the like, only reason I made it through that day. That's funny as a bitch. I was so fucking pissed. You made me. Even, I quit I'm, 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 The only reason why I didn't because I drove. We were in somebody else's car. I had no way of getting back to my car. That's what you if I would have been able to take my own car, by the time my nigga went to the door, I would have. I was about to swear to God, I was about to. Depending on everywhere, like, nah, I got a sibling me, everywhere. I'm going whole to my time, house, whole time. Whole time I'm at work. Right I'm now, texting, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm texting everybody. My usual daytime people I talk to, where we have our morning sessions, our motivation. I'm talking to them like, dog, oh, this ain't. It. I talked to Teresa. Like, Teresa, this ain't it. She come get me. Told her. Told her what it was. She's a nurse, so she couldn't come get me, oh, or shit. she would have. She was ready to pull up, too. And I was like, this is not what it door is. Door to like, door. She was so sad that she talked me into canceling them other two jobs to take this job. Door to door. This and had it, to be a one-time. 
nigga. I, and that's what I thought too. Until the dude, I really sitting there asking the dude questions. He he's out here every single day doing it. like bro. And then when they on the little phones, it's like, yeah, man, what's our daily quota? Again, I'm gonna get three. I'm gonna get the three. Like y'all was saying three was like the low end, and like you get three, that's you know, this, but then if you do the way y'all made it set was like getting three is just if you came to work today, you automatically gonna get three. Mm-hmm. You're not getting three. Mm-hmm. First of all, and you know how hard it is to talk a motherfucker to find some shit that's not Excuse Excuse me, man. Man. but here's the thing. Going Here's on. the thing. <laughs> niggas everything was really, online. Niggas was really reading the script word for like even in the conversation. You're hearing customers asking questions and giving no's and giving clues to how you can flip them, and you just still saying what the script is saying. Tom, why you ain't show folks how how it's Bro, going? halfway through the day after this point in time when I knew I wasn't coming back to this job. I just pulled dog to the side and just started talking to dog and teaching them through the whole entire set. Like, look, bro, so you go, this is going to be your life. And you chose this life. Let me show you how to do your job. My, first and foremost, we pulled up in the neighborhood. He paid no attention to the neighborhood. Because mm-hmm. I knew it was going to be a bust. When I look at the neighborhood, they're all homeowners, right? Mm-hmm. Smack dead in the middle of the block is an AT&T truck. Mm-hmm. It wasn't an at and truck installing service the AT&T truck at the house of the owner. Mm -hmm. So you already have someone who works for AT&T in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. First thing I noticed when I got the car. So I said to myself, ask them who their internet service is, and I guarantee you more than 85% is going to say AT&T. That's how I know you work that spectrum. It's the same bullshit. (laughs) The same training. Yeah, I work there too. I know. know. If you you were in Milwaukee, you work there. Everybody worked there. Everybody worked there. (laughs) Nope, not me. Look at you. You don't have to work anymore. Keep it a buck. You got pretty privilege. Uh, yes, you do, and you know it. Okay. Shirt's coming soon. Okay. Uh, but it's not even just that. I, I, I've had sales experience, period. I'm just a natural hustler. But the spectrum made it easier. It does. It, it made it easier. It make it easy to read people. Right. So I just, I knew it. Knew right away. So I'm like, dog, this is a waste of our time. Like, but he, he. Yes, I'm gonna go out here. I'm happy. Gotta do this, gotta do that. Mm-hmm. And you like, meet this chipper ass nigga. This little chipper little light skinned nigga, dog. I, mm-hmm. He's just so like, you know what, bro? Whatever this job is gonna lead to, I hope it gets you there. I would this is not for me. Okay. First of all, mm-hmm. I'm old. I ain't gonna be walking around. Right? I'm like, hey, man, yeah. what the fuck? Though? Gonna be walking around. I'm old, yeah, I ain't gonna walk hurt. around. No, it's <laughs> cold. Like, like it's cold. You niggas don't you niggas do lunch before you hit the streets. That's how I know you niggas is I'm not built for this. Mm-hmm. Bro, twelve mm-hmm. to eight walking, suck my dick. Right, this is bullshit. Ain't no way. So and never, it's cold outside. So, cold. so I never, so I never went back. Like I'm not even gonna call and tell you I fucking quit. I'm just not coming back. You knew I wasn't coming back. Mm-hmm. And I sat there and looked to see this is why them thick bitches quit because all that ass wasn't gonna be walking up and down the damn streets. But you could have been with all that. Ass. No, they didn't come back to the job, bro. Had they came back, would you stay? No, I would not have stayed, no, bro. I still would quit. I'm just. If that would have just been molded like look at least i come to work and see some ass. nope not even working girls was in one car guys was another one. so i wasn't even with the bitches mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, you and should. i found eventually no motivation. i found right. eventually <laughs> you get dropped off by yourself so even though i was with somebody this day within the next two days i'm just gonna be out here by myself going door to door knocking on people's doors for no reason mm-hmm. what gonna no, you're not gonna do that do they track yeah. you yeah the tablet would attract the doors because you got to mark them and stuff like that I could literally sit there and just keep checking and never talk to nobody, but why why be at the job if you're gonna do that? You see what I'm saying? At least do the job. If you're gonna if you're gonna stay at the job, at least do the fucking job. I, mean, I knew I wasn't you, gonna stay at the job. You let me just be in the neighborhood so Yeah, we know you. Right. So <laughs> you so it's never went story. back. And that's <laughs> actually the reason why I sound sick right now. Because you niggas had me out here in this cold ass weather, sweating, even though I did have on proper attire to prepare myself. I wasn't cold. fully prepared. Wasn't fully prepared for the frozen tundra. Also, <laughs> of the Wisconsin. But, um, but I did find a nice house that's on the market. 
but I am going to be at This supposed to be at work. You got your scope in the name? Okay. Nigga, I'm going door to door. I'm here for it. I got to see this house. I respect Right. He ain't even talking about the shit no more. He's like, I mean, how much y'all pay for Brian? Right. Like, what are the schools like? I'm not even, bro. Why you bullshit? Why you bullshit? Why you bullshit? You was definitely on Zillow. You was on Zillow. I'm looking at Definitely on Zillow. 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 I'm on Realtor.com. Yeah, tell me all the. Like, I'm doing that. Like, I don't give a fuck about this job anymore. Texting is like, can you think we can afford over here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what over here can I use as a text right now? Right, like, that's it. Can we? Can we get in the studio over here? Got home. Got home the next day. I'm up. My body hurt. Like, you swear I just went to the gym the way I'm hurt. I'm old. I don't move. I don't walk. I have desk jobs. So fuck it. I'm not getting up. Didn't call, didn't say I quit. I just said, fuck y'all. Y'all knew I was going to say, fuck y'all when I got back. You knew. So then I'm just going to save you the trouble. I'm not physically hearing me say, fuck you, but I better get a goddamn check in the mail on Monday for this eight hours that I did give to y'all. <laughs> yeah, no, okay? you ain't getting nothing. You Bro, better you, give me my goddamn money. You want the $40? Give me my motherfucking. Nigga, I earned like it being $40? outside. $40? <laughs> I earned that for being outside. I don't give a fuck. Okay? $10. So now, <laughs> so during the process, I'm smart. Never gave up looking, cause have you found something? I have something. We appreciate your ambition. What okay. do you What do you have? have? Can you talk about it? So currently, right <laughs> now, I'm looking at working at a financial institution again. Oh, okay, um, don't. Oh God, this is a great look. Hold up, this financial institution is motherfucking amazing. Cause the problems that I've been having with this financial institution, with this situation, they have been working with me okay. diligently. Even if I don't get everything done, I will be moving my money to this new establishment simply because they made life easy. Okay. So, without saying the name of my financial institution, because it is going to be the place of employment, we didn't apply for the job, about, sat down, about, had the interview. Okay? Great thing about the interview was, apparently, there's somebody who know me. What are you, what? Oh, oh goddammit. I forgot you did order chicken chip. You better give me one of them wings, too. You better give me some extra ones. So, have the interview. I'm sitting down for the interview, nice little white woman. Now, you already know, white woman in the room, get defensive, playing the clubs. Okay, I got a story about a white woman, too. Ain't All right, so sitting in the interview, first thing she does is she asks me, Do I know a person? Now, as black people, when they ask you, Do you know somebody? <laughs> what What's the your first call? They did some bullshit. It's a bullshit. Exactly. Bullshit. I'm gonna tell you, No, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> exactly. So she asked me, Yes, and she said the name from your previous job. I was like, the name sounds familiar, but at this particular job, I didn't work with a person that name. So I started describing the person. She's like, yes, it's her. So me being smart, it's like, oh, she's just a sweet person. She was like, I used to work with her. No reason to be cordial at work and whatnot. It's like, oh, because she spoke so highly. The minute she said that, Shh, okay, we good. I'm in. I'm already in. At this point in time, I'm at this interview like, we for easy. Let, go ahead and give me the five to six bullshit questions that all job interviews ask you. Because yeah. now, since I already got somebody on the inside talking highly, I got the job. I'm not being cocky. I just, That's just it's, what it is. It's just what it is. I've done this before. I know how it goes. In, inside recommendations hold more weight than what your resume said. So we do the whole entire interview. She said, okay, well, given, you know, given how we still got a couple of interviews, you should hear back from us within a week. Nigga, before the fucking time for me to go pick up my kids, like two, three hours later, I'm getting an email. We want to go ahead and offer you this position. I'm like, cool. Say less. Yes, I'll accept it. They're offering me 19 and out. Still pretty low, but I can't complain. I ain't got no job right now. And it's definitely better than the other two that actually have funds for me. So I'm, and, and, not far from the house. Even better. And, it has half and half. So I'm in the office for two days, I'm at home for three days. Mm -hmm. And they match my schedule. I start work at 8 39 o'clock. I'm done by 5 30. So I can not only drop the kids off, I can pick them up and still be able to do studio shit. Perfect. Everything matches up. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to move, do all the good. Get here support. Get an email. On Wednesday. Yeah, you got a couple of accounts and check systems, my guy. I need you to get that taken care of or we can't give you this job. Wait, what? Whoa, what? So, because what, it's what, a financial institution, 
you can't have charged off accounts in check system. Y'all too deep in my business. <laughs> Damn. Damn. How, how you fix them? Okay. Wait. My situation ain't got nothing to do with my ability to do my no, job. No, Get out of my business. <laughs> one of so one of them I didn't know nothing about. Dang, hiring broke niggas is what we say. No, it's a, it's a, it's actually a universal requirement. I've seen that. It's happened in the past before, not to me, but I've heard it happen to other people. I just did not know I had these accounts. So one of them was a U.S. bank account from years ago. Okay? Completely forgot about it. I know what happened. I know how we got here. Just forgot about it. Call U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is like, hey, nigga, give us $400 and we'll clear the rest of this shit out for you. No questions asked. But can I can I, can I pay you in two different parts? Mm-hmm. Shit, nigga, what can you do right now? I can do $50. Cool, let's do 50. We take a 150 this other day. We do the other two in January. We good. Let me send you a letter proving that you got this together. Cool. US Bank done. Okay. Good. Scamming days behind me. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Real in here. So I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm chipper. I'm dancing. So I go look at the next account, the BMO Harris account. I'm currently bank with BMO Harris. I used to work for BMO Harris. So I'm confused where this account came from. Did a little research. It was my first business account I opened up for TDR. So first of all, I'm like, why is it tied to my social security number? Because that has a tax ID number. So that shouldn't even show up over there. But I also remember what happened. Basically, what happened was they accidentally put a $600 check in my account, and they didn't take that money out for two weeks. So I let it sit there for typical three days. I don't know where this money came from. Sit there for four days. Oh, this must be my money then. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just something I didn't check off. I go pay bills two weeks later. Hey, my nigga, that wasn't your $600, so we're going to take it back from you. Now my account is negative. I got to be like, shit, I'm not bringing in enough money to clear this up. Let me figure out what I can do. 30-day mark, oh, we closed the account. Didn't have a chance to get it cleared up. So I said, fuck it. Did a dispute because it was y'all mistake. Y'all need to eat this. I'll pay the $35 overdraft fee that came from it, but y'all mm-hmm. should eat that. Never heard anything else about it. So since I ain't heard nobody calling me about this money, mm-hmm. I ain't heard nobody emailing me about this account being negative. I assume you swiped it clean and your email got lost in the junk mail like the rest of the shit that happens when you're sending me notifications. Didn't think twice about it. Show us up. When I tell you for the last five days, I have been trying to get a hold of somebody at BMO Harris to at least say, hey, how much can I pay y'all to make this go away? (laughs) Okay, That's all I want to do. How much can I pay y'all to make this go away? I have got nothing but a voicemail or voice, yeah, an answer machine that says, leave your information and we'll call you back in 24 hours. Listen, everybody got a boss. Hold on. Hold on. You got to use your privilege like Marco. Hold on. Wait a minute. (laughs) Now, here's the thing. Okay. I am a smart man. I'm going to call and talk to him for you. I might need to. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. (laughs) I'm a smart man. Now, like I said earlier in this story, I used to work for BMO Harris. So the first thing you do, you reach out to your friends. <laughs> that still worked there. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Smart Not man. wrong. So I hit up Britt. Hey, Britt, give me this number. Britt got me the number. That's how I got anything done to begin with. Didn't go through. It's like, damn, but I still got people in my department because I used to work in small business. So I know, say, okay, hit up my friend over in small business. She on vacation. Fuck you. <laughs> you ain't no help. I said, like, all right, cool. Hit up my nigga that works in the branch. His ass just quit and went to Wells Fargo. Fuck you too, nigga. <laughs> you know? So I'm like, okay, I'm striking out. So I said, okay, let me stop being a nigga and going about things like a nigga. Let me think like a white man. I immediately, I immediately called one of the local branches and request to speak to a personal banker about my situation scheduled a sit-down appointment to meet them face-to-face so we can figure out how to handle this amicably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. I get there. Okay. I get there. They call the same goddamn number I've been calling. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to find bed today. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> useless. I'm just like, damn. Fucking useless. Say what? Whole situation completely fucked up. So now I'm in the bind. Okay? In the bind. Call Nate. Huh? They call Nate. I might have to call Top Dog Law. Shit. <laughs> fucking around. Top Dog Law. So I'm in a bind. The commercials are so, so 
sit down, talk to Teresa. Teresa says, how much the total balance? I give her the amount. She looks at me extremely pissed. It's like extremely pissed. What's now explain about? to her how we got here. She's not mad with the logic. She just knows me well enough to know I hate you right now. <laughs> okay. All because they gave you six hundred dollars. Exactly. Because she like <laughs> she knows me. Okay. So and she, she also reiterate this is the reason why we don't have a shared bank account. But that's another conversation. <laughs> so I call HR department of my new job. The, I've been talking to her every single day, giving her constant update. The sweetest, nicest little woman. Like she, this is the only job that I think has ever told me, like, look, nigga, we can't give you this job because it's check system shit here. We'll give you five days to get it fixed. But That's you it? can't get they gave me five business days. Get it fixed. What was the first business day? That was that Wednesday when I got the initial fix. Okay, you got some time. That's, that's yeah. when it started. So I've been working. Mm-hmm. So been calling her, talking to her. She knows the US Bank ones, they cleared. She got proof that they cleared. She good on that one. BMO Harris one, I told her about the fuck shit that's going on with them. So we basically told us, like, look, what are my options? She's like, if you pay it off, send me a receipt to prove you paid it off. You Gucci. How much interest are they charging? No, that's the great okay. thing about them. But here's the thing. The real reason why I've been doing all this, trying to get a hold of somebody, because I don't want to pay the full 600. Right. It's not my fault to begin with, but I don't want to pay the full 600. That's why U.S. Bank, (laughs) see, what I didn't tell y'all was the U.S. Bank account was almost 1500 from interest and all kind of shit sitting there. So the fact that they took 400, which is actually less than the actual charge that I fucked up, Mm -hmm. I'm cool. I'm not complaining. Won't complain. Not complaining. At all. But this is this is this is God saying, but nigga, you gotta learn. Mm-hmm. Like, like, son, you for the pay this. Son. Like you pay son, nigga. I, that's, I wanna pay something. Yeah, I wanna B- pay it B- all. Bimo want it all. They yeah. do Brand new socks and drawers. I need all that. I run that. Pockets empty, nigga. Right. This is what I get for banking with Canadian Bank. Okay. Told you stay out the six. I'm just saying, fam. <laughs> that's why I don't go visit my dad. He's Canadian. Right exactly so, you are the only co-worker I have ever lived with. This one. Do we got to read your timeline? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, after everything was said and done, we got the agreement. Teresa kind of agreed to cover it for me. Hold on, wait a minute. Listen, she a nurse. I mean, school for nursing. I know how much money they get. She got it. There's nothing. <laughs> You're going to be eating ass for a long time. Not that she ain't got it. She's the one to pay. And then, you shouldn't have did the shit. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> You're going to be eating ass for a while. She been, because we're supposed to be going to, we're supposed to be, nah, going, hey. we're supposed to be going, we're supposed to be doing a full blown family trip to Vegas in March. See? Yeah. see? Again, he going to be, he going to be eating ass for a while. And you got a massage. Yeah, eat oh, that, that, eat that, 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 rubbing feet. No, no you, you gotta do the extra. You gotta she make fit. sure you, you, you so the toes dress, the dress like cameo after okay. getting off. That's why <laughs> <laughs> dress like cameo. I'm not gonna put a red solo cup on my dick, my guy. Yeah, why is the wire? She don't even like cameo like that, bro. It's not even, don't gotta worry about that. If anything, I gotta pay for her to maybe a private uh session with Usher where he serenades her and I gotta sit there and accept it. That might be the only yeah, thing. Yeah. Do now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I might have to do that. I'm cool with that. But only cash 22 is because we couldn't get the receipt today. They have to push my start bank back, back to Wednesday. Oh, Thursday, but you got that's, that's not that bad. Shout it's out. Shout I gotta out. get her. To, I gotta Wednesday. get her the receipt though. I gotta email her the receipt tomorrow. She said the only reason why she gotta push it back to Wednesday because she ain't they ain't gonna have no time to process the information. So as long as I get there the receipt to them this weekend. Which hopefully I'm going to the bank tomorrow to pay this. I'll start on Wednesday, starting on Monday. Screenshot your transactions. That's it. Oh no, I'm faxing that shit in. I'm Shout out, my time. nigga still got, got the job. You got the job. Congratulations, black man. Look, nigga. Sometimes <laughs> when you got situations, you got a fax. You got a fax. Okay. It's that fax, email, and she got a fax, got a, fax, email, got a fax number <laughs> in her fucking uh 
email header, so she getting both copies, fam. I'm not playing around. Fax it and email it. You know, but like meanwhile, white, white people thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, because I have white friends and I, I learned from them, yeah. I still got other jobs I apply for. So if this shit goes left, I still got weird to cut. Because white hey, people, white people, always got a backup plan. And if you're doing a call center and you can work from home, you don't gotta be at home. You be here. Exactly. Yeah. So I still got something to cut. Yeah, but the, but 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 the financial yeah. institution, <laughs> that's that's the best. It's the best job. We interview you. Might have me working at like three a.m. I don't know. No. Yeah. I don't deal with that shit. Yeah, customer service, customer service. People is annoying as fuck. This is a true statement. But so right now, currently, I'm on my fourth job, but Tommy is pissed at me because I keep fucking changing jobs. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> why he trying to work on his dissertation? <laughs> but this one is gonna be the one. I'm probably gonna be at this bank for another. I'm gonna be at this location for five years. I used to stay the job for about five years before I get bored with them. But these white folks have been so nice. I might not leave anytime soon. I might retire there. I don't. I, yeah, uh, I'll be there. I'll be you, chilling. You stay at I'll be chilling there. I work everywhere. Oh, it, it ain't a place you can't name you that I probably ain't worked. You know that. And that was a big ass bag. You came in here for that little bit that came out the bag. Right. <laughs> it was overdue. I'm so disappointed. That Wingstop be like, because you always unnecessary baggage of paper. For this little ass, but no, thank you to subs. No, what about it? this? Is a very pausable moment, but I don't know how I feel about this. Did you know that Subway has extended their subs by three inches Pause. to 15 inches? Pause. Told you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he said it's okay. Did you know? No, nah, bro, I didn't know they added yeah. an extra three inches to 15. Like, who's the spokesperson <laughs> for Subway that actually does the voiceover work? I don't know. Last time I saw a Subway think, commercial, Steph listen, Curry was shooting subs listen. in a jump shot. No, it's somebody else. Is it Charles Barkley still? Don't know. It was all they, them. They, they know not to make nobody else the face. Of them oh, yeah, they after learned that. The incident right. with, uh, Jerry. But no, they add, <laughs> so now for $2 more, you can get three more inches. And I'm just waiting for the jokes to start flying. They probably $2 more. I mean, so. There's a bitter woman out here that them jokes, them memes are supposed to about to start memeing. I just want you to know that that's nasty word. Yeah. But it's funny though because technically, don't if you get a large sub from cousins, it's about about fifteen anyway. I don't, don't, eat know, subs. don't eat that much. <laughs> we can tell. Oh no, I eat. He know. He's, he's working with me. Just saying. He, he that was y'all was working though. That's different. Doesn't matter. We, we weren't really working though. We never worked. You worked at Pick and Save with us. You know. I don't know if I would want to work at Pickens. Actually, I did work at Pickens. Yo, Wait, that I worked overnight, though. Listen. Funny, like, when I look back at life, like, we had some time. first working at Walmart and then working at Pickens, like, top two funnest jobs. We had some time. Like, now I feel like when I go to work, I feel like a real ass fucking adult now. Like, right? Because <laughs> I'm getting old. Wow. <laughs> Nigga, you've been real as The stories I can tell you. Do you know how much I was still when I worked there? I don't work there no more, so I'm getting fuck. You know how much we were stealing? I was stealing a lot. And no, I, listen. I was you, incriminating everybody. It wasn't just stealing time, though. No. Nah, you know, I didn't juice. pay for groceries for a whole year. Listen, it was bad. I had plenty of people in on it. I can't say who. This I is the reason know. why, like, <laughs> this is why Walmart <laughs> stopped showing that, that price cut commercial. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. you had the little happy face yeah. and the prices be going down. For people like Because me. niggas like y'all <laughs> kept them going up. People like us. <laughs> like we was already lowering these prices and you still stealing? Yes. Right. Because life is expensive. It wasn't it is what it is. It, what it, it wasn't well, life is starting to deflate now. That's the rumor that's going out right now. I can't tell. Look, Look kind of if you pay attention to the I gas, you can kind of tell. All I was, all I was saying was terrible. You got me Fucking working horrible. here for eight hours. And y'all don't even give out adequate breaks. Y'all giving niggas like they fifteen. Not. Y'all giving they niggas not. fifteen Hold minutes on. apiece. I, so I'm just taking what I need. Before you go any further, what's up? First of all, that fucking Verizon job did not offer breaks. See what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and I was done before we even started walking. I was done. I asked them about perks and benefits. No, mm-hmm. none, none. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. And this is exactly why At my people I'm gonna have free services. In my shit. Like For I'm over. It don't mean nothing. So you got me all. knocking on doors trying to convert people in the moment from an internet service that's already adequate and ain't doing nothing wrong. 
to come and jump on your internet gotcha. and I can't even use it to stand behind to say, yo, this is actually some fire shit. No, for real. At least with Spectrum. Damn, we don't get free. Spectrum, free everything was free. They give you free services. They might be real shitty, y'all. I don't care because I don't work there no more and I don't give a fuck. Listen, y'all pay for a lot of shit that y'all don't know y'all pay for and they be playing the fuck out of people. They do got the best internet service. I will give them that. Nope, no doubt. They don't. AT&T fiber is the best shit. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even pay for my AT&T because that ACP paid for it, but that ain't even a point. <laughs> but listen. Yeah, I got plenty of people in that ACP. You plan for plenty shit that don't you don't even know you pay for it. Though. And it's bullshit. I don't have spectrum. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I will say the internet is decent. I got fiber. Fiber is in the studio. I refuse to go to anybody else but fiber. Don't even matter. It's all bullshit. They all play it. No, mm-hmm. no, no. This fiber shit is the truth. I'm not talking about the services. Uh-oh. I'm talking about what you can. Oh, yeah. You definitely They plan. Listen, all of them. They plan for them. Everybody. We all, they Everybody. all sit, they all sit at the table together and talk about how much they're going to charge each other. They all together. They act like they're competing, but they all together. No, they all together. They all they all together so much that certain companies won't even cross into each other's areas because they know they're working together. Exactly. Comcast and Spectrum will not cross over in, in each other's areas. And this is exactly why you got employees like us who be still. It just mm-hmm. is what it is. I, I mean, I couldn't <laughs> steal from Spectrum. It's but, hard, but, but it's possible. You can get but, away with some shit. But getting free service, top of the line, everything. You know. Discounted phones mm-hmm. and getting them nice commission checks. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I was all I, was I only doing left Spectrum for moral reasons. Was I, left for reasons. I didn't like the fact that I'm over here busting my ass to keep this customer, but meanwhile, the actual customer service department is saying, Yo, you can take all that shit off. You don't need that. If all you need is this right here, cool. And then transfer them to us to do the taking off. See, that's the that's what I hated. Because we got dinged for everything we took off. Everything. So everything. you sat here, I sat here and told you, you don't need nothing but five channels on your service because all you do is watch wrestling, but I don't take the five channels off. Instead, I transfer you to somebody else mm-hmm. who told, who now that you got to me, I'm just like, oh no. Not you don't, you don't, you, you need more than that. just the five channels. I you need to keep you. this. You don't have to do anything. Matter of fact, yep. You need to add more because I wrestling come on this channel I too now. You this. And it come on that I channel. You that. I so now you be like, fuck you. I don't want this company no more. You feel better now? You got that out? It's just a point you, you Oh, there's people that still work there that say that. Yeah. And then they'll clock in the next day and still keep getting checked. Mm-hmm. We all felt that way. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Which is why I went back. This is why I went back to the bank. Because I'm not competing with nobody. I'm we got your money. It's how you have to you spend your money is what your bank account gonna look like. You spend all your money, your bank account gonna look empty. Mm-hmm. You spend none of your money, it's gonna sit here, and we're gonna give you ways to help your money sit here to make more money. Yeah, it's pretty much. Let me make more money. Stop still. I don't steal no more. I'm a good noodle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I paid I, anyway. Hey, I, still I work for Pato. Listen, I can't steal money. They make sure you can't you can't wear pockets. Nothing. Right. They sew your, your pockets together. Your fucking pants be flooding. All types of shit. They want to make sure you ain't sticking money in your socks. Nothing. Can I, can I just wear jogger pants? Nope. Like, no. No. You can't even wear that. I get the small joint. No, you Bro. can't even wear Which that. One? You're like, not sewing my fucking pocket shut, man. One. That's why they give us pants. You got, the they give you your <laughs> uniform that's already printed. Oh, okay. But you, can, like this. you can't buy your if own it pants, though. If it wasn't for the fact that it was illegal, but women... All oh, y'all, y'all get clothes that don't have pockets. Me and we can't do that. No, they, they don't sell no well, khakis with no pockets. In your locker? locker, with the lock that they give you, look, well, that I mean, they can open me, at any time. You can't have your phone on you. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't fucking no. Any job I can't have my phone next to me, fuck you. It's ways around it, but yeah. no, if I, if I ain't got no pockets, why am I hiding the phone there as a nigga? Which, listen, listen, no, listen. Because <laughs> I feel like now what's in my pants, and that's insane. See, I'm gonna tell yeah. you, but I can't tell you. <laughs> then don't. We'll wait till the mic is yeah. on. Yeah, because just one you. is accept the fact you're not supposed to have your phone, bro. Right. Yeah, because they make you sign paperwork and everything. That they right, you can go to jail for that. No, they'll fire you. That's cool. I've been fired before. I plenty. Pick a side fire. I quit. Yeah. You know, when you get fired from the job, though, it do feel like you've been degraded when you go to another company. They don't pay you more. If you get paid the same, 
or you go to a job and you got to deal with a different set of bullshit, you kind of feel like, damn, I fucked up. I mean, but you kind of sort of in the same work environment and it's still just as messy, just as childish. It's just white people now. It's not it's niggas. White people. It's no, still just no. the it's, same. It's though. the same shit. The they all hate each other. They all all they do is fucking gossip about each other, just like right, black right. people. And half of them still fucking on each other. That's oh, just what it is. <laughs> Every job it's has people fucking white people. people. Every Any job, job that <laughs> Every requires job. a group of individuals to be around each other for eight or more hours, some of them are gonna fuck. Some of them Absolutely. Are going to. Ooh, do you? To the point now, in part of all they tell you, do you remember Jackie? Would you, would you oh, remember say with Jackie? Don't, don't, don't in orientation, they have the conversation about fraternizing with co-workers. No, no, no. So it's different at Pato because they tell you, Oh, it's possible, you know, some people find love here, whatever, whatever. It's Did cool. they show you a little video that showed that? No, our orientation is different. Like, the, the more we go, it just get different and different. But they tell you, they recommend you fuck with somebody in a different department. Yeah, don't fuck with nobody in your department. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to fuck all. Hey, the, no, I want to fuck all the hoes that do sure. blackjack. Damn. I want to disagree. Really? Yeah, Bree working Pato. Yeah, I want to. She still ain't got no buddy. No, not too much. Not too much. I'm out there, okay? She was cute though. Terrible human being. You're terrible. Ain't you? Yes. Why? You're good. That's You're a terrible human being. Why? But you know who else is a terrible human being? Who? Sean Combs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Sean is a nasty nigga. Horrible. He's actually a uh, button. <laughs> you so freaky ass nigga. Yeah. That. <laughs> now, why we here? Before we go, yeah. Is this last one I'm talking about. I just, I got, I just got some questions and some thoughts that I just want to put out here, and then people can respond and react. That I don't want to react. I just want you to know that Sarita is killing this fucking chicken. Mm-hmm. Right, then offer a nigga a French fry, and I took you on the walk. Hold on, actually, she actually Man. did. <laughs> to whom? To you. No, no, I asked for one, and she just sat down and immediately went to town. Is that how that went? Damn, yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I was really. I'm listen, I know you're hungry. Listen, that's why we're not tripping. Yeah. That's why we're not tripping. I, I misinterpreted that. Like but I had to say something yeah. just in case I might be able to get a wing when you get to the end. Yeah, I just want to it's not. <laughs> Ain't no end. It's, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's, it's the end. It's over. <laughs> like, I don't see the actual physical chicken on this end, so I can only. Yes. Right. It ain't no but it ain't no but dead bodies and paper over here. Okay. Let me see what my account looks like. I might get lucky. Somebody zelled me money today. I can see if it came through. Is everybody familiar with what's going on with Diddy right now? Yeah, he got multiple allegations and multiple people are suing him for sexual assault. Of being a freaky. But see, but this is not nothing new. People call buddy. Okay, so today we are bringing Sean D. Combs. Because this nigga is a wild boy. Wild ain't the word. He own the song Wild Boy? Yeah, with Machine Gun Kelly, yeah, that's crazy. Is he, wait, is he really? I think so. Well, you tell, us, oh, <laughs> you tell us in the music. Damn. Damn. Yo, but these, I, like, but, okay. okay. Niggas been saying Diddy was but a wild dude. That's what I'm saying, low. Like, these allegations are wild. Okay, and I think what tends to happen in the court of public opinion is people immediately take their personal feelings about a situation and insert it into what it is. Okay, I don't think that's the case with him. Hold on, let me finish because for years everybody has said a Diddy party is a wild party. Okay, everybody, comedians. But it's a party, musician. No. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy does a, a lot. No, no, no. When I say it's a party, like I feel like you know what's going on if you hit, right? And if you, and if you, and if you see what's starting to go on while you here, and you don't like it, and there's nobody handcuffing you, leave. Yeah. Well, I'm Diddy. But, Let me get my freak but, shit off in peace. But that's the thing. At a Diddy party, handcuffs are optional. But I'm saying, bro, <laughs> if you don't want, if you see that I'm gonna pull my, if you see that me and six other people are naked, and you see that this is the vibe in this room, it's optional. You can stay, but you see you gotta get naked. You're not on that kind of time. 
Mm-hmm. It's a million other rooms. Or you can just go home. Yeah. Let me get my freak shit off in peace. But Diddy also goes overboard on normal shit, too, because uh, Quincy's 18th birthday party, my nigga had people dressed up like elephants doing circus Soleil shit at an 18-year-old birthday party while folks is riding around in mini Lamborghinis around the pool and shit. He just wanted a few of his friends over by his house for barbecue. It's Diddy, though, bro. It's Diddy. Diddy's that always way. been dramatic. Yeah, mm-hmm. he has. What is Diddy sign? I, I know you would know. He's Scorpio. Miss Crystal Light. His birthday is two days before mine. See, that's what I said. I knew you <laughs> would know. You want to be it, the same light with this it, nasty it, motherfucker? It amazes me you know Because that. you got to also look at his rising and his moon. So I believe his There's a lot of Virgo, shit rising that he should put same away. thing as, um, whatchamacallit, I like turn. So, yeah, because when they got to talking about Diddy was out here holding niggas over balconies, I was right. like, yo, but y'all let the video. Y'all letting the nigga who Did go, you see the video? Can't stop, can't of him stop. following you can't, Cassie see around the house under the blanket. We can't allow yeah. what the music does to judge to make us judge who a person is. Because first of all, we've seen so many weak ass <laughs> Malibu most wanted ass niggas be hard as folks. <laughs> And music, and then we got niggas out here like Hammer who pumped in the book, but got the whole industry scared to talk to him because he'll whoop their ass. Mm-hmm. So you can't judge a nigga based on what I they don't know, man. I, MC, Ham- MC Hammer wore <laughs> fingerless gloves and a G string. He bout action. <laughs> Anybody dressing like that is bout action. MC Hammer wore G string and fingerless gloves because he made bad business decisions and he knew he had to pay the piper. Mm-hmm. Bro, he had his dick out in some boots. Right. Look, girl, what if somebody's gonna be how much money do I owe you that I gotta dress like this? It's definitely a lot. It's a lot, bro. More than enough. You never know how much that man owe. But all right, life happens. But what I, but I the thing about with Diddy in the current situation, for those who don't know, uh Casey. Cass- Cassie. 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 I'll pay attention to you folks no more. It's okay. Cassie basically came out and was like, yo. I'm taking you to civil court for thirty million dollars. That's insane. For these sexual he abuse paid it the allegations next day. that you have done to me because we were dating. Because you affect them business. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter whether or not it's true. You paid it the very next day. Because you're but affecting thing, business. But that's the thing. You know how much money that man got? How many ventures he's into? And <laughs> if if it's a motherfucker out here running around saying, "Hey," Diddy is a rapist. You are affecting no, listen, business. I need to make it. Went public but I need to make so it go like, away. If I understand you wanted to make it go away, but at the same time, if you know it's not true, fight back a little bit. Nah, some shit ain't worth fighting. Sometimes you go. I get it. See, here's the thing. Court of public, it. see, court of public opinion is just that. It's opinion. We're gonna believe what we want to believe, no matter what happens. So yeah. even if he took it to court and he won. People have already made up their mind that you are a rapist, and he will constantly still keep labeled that no matter if we prove that woman was lying or not. Two, people are going to victim blame no matter what in the court of public opinion, because people are going to say, did he took a boost for you, but you stayed there. You could have left. Why are you saying something now? Court of public opinion is a bunch of people putting their own problem on a situation that you don't know nothing about. So even if Diddy sat there and said, okay, I'm going to take you to court. First of all, she's asking for $30 million, taking you to court could end up costing $90 million. Financially, that don't make sense. Two, they may have an agreement. The reason why she did not come out until now is because that agreement probably ended, and now she wants him to honor his agreement. The thing about this is Diddy recently sold the mask, gave back the master to a lot of shit. A lot of residual money that Diddy used to have that came in for no damn reason, he don't not have there. it like he no more. So I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, somewhere in that residual money he used to get, some of it went to her. So by losing those residual accounts, she got lost in the shuffle too. So now she wants you to pay me to shut up. And the reason why I say pay me to shut up because you went to civil court. Civil court is hurting your pockets. Court of public opinion is already going to make up their mind. But because it's Diddy, Diddy was like... 15 minutes of fame on this bullshit is all you're going to get. I'm going to pay you off. You're going to shut up. We're going to talk about it on a few podcasts, but by February, ain't nobody going to remember this. Which I think that's that's the fucked up part about it. Because now I feel like we are like, granted, I, we don't know any of these people. So technically, none of this shit really be our business. 
But at the same time, it's like now Diddy got to live in like this weird gray area of life because Cassie got $30 million. She can go away and just be Cassie in fucking Wyoming, anywhere, wherever the fuck you want to be and just be a normal person. When I wake up Monday morning, I still got to be Diddy. I still got to be Puff Daddy. Now I got to sit in a room with a bunch of motherfuckers who either, again, think I did it or didn't think I did it. It's this gray area. Like, if you are rapist, that's a crime. You go to fucking jail. You don't get to go to work the next day. You take your ass to jail. That's if you, But I'm saying if we're going to paint folks as a rapist, again, it's a crime. Let's go to court. Let's go to trial. You get jail time. Unless you're white. If you're a rapist. Or rich. Unless you're white. But I'm saying that if you or raping rich. people, it's a crime. That's all I'm saying. It is a crime. And we need to go to trial and we I'm need sure to why. play this all out. But, That's it. But here's where the conversation with Diddy comes into play. Because if you go back and you look at where all these conversations of allegations came into play at, a lot of it ties to when they were in a relationship. So whether or not we don't have, we as the public, we don't have proof of how much she did consent to or how much she didn't consent to. Because for all we know, she could have been along the ride because my man, my man, my man, and agreed to all these different things that Diddy was doing and all these different scenarios that Diddy brought her into. And even though she was kind of uncomfortable in that moment, but she thought, well, this is probably what a rich relationship looks like. And she went along with it. And it wasn't until years later that now that she's older, she understands herself, she understands life, she understands sex. And she sits back and says to herself, yo, this nigga did shit to me that just should not have been done. She could have been getting groomed. And then because it's the court of public opinion, a painting, a picture paints a thousand words. So someone can show a picture of Diddy walking with her and she's looking down at her shoe and we can make up a whole scenario off that picture and then the media will run with it because it fits the current narrative of what's going on. When in actuality, they could have just been walking from the house to the car and had great sex and she's tired. We don't know, but when that photo comes up, whatever narrative we decide to run with and we want to agree, okay, yeah, this this must be the narrative. That's what we do. So I'm not saying that Diddy didn't abuse her, but until we hear words from her mouth that explain these moments of abuse and Diddy was like, these moments where well this is what we did it's just opinions he paid her to shut up she so, knows more than what she said and she's basically saying 30 million dollars will make sure that whatever i know stays what i know so if that's the case this way i'm set to go ladies specifically what about bill and r kelly kale's was a freaky ass nigga who's ben doing freaky. time been supposed freaky. to be doing because they're young now he grilled them because every last girl that was what? in his crib when they scooped bro up was like we chose to be here but yeah in my opinion family. right in my opinion but it started when they were younger he shouldn't be the only one in jail we're not saying he that well, bill went to jail i ain't talking about just bill i'm talking about the parents where was the parents at oh no you know how society don't do that society don't hold everybody accountable. we live in we live in today's society where a woman can accuse a man of rape and be 100 lying that man's whole life and career can go down the tube and she could come back around and was like well i just made that up because i was mad at him and nothing happens to her johnny Depp, jo uh, jonathan major thank you yeah, currently true. right now the mcu is rewriting a and whole fucking storyline all because higher. a woman came out and said he abused her when there's not a single ounce of proof that's being proven and he's taking her to court, which basically is going to prove that she's a lying ass bitch in this whole story. But yet, his credibility. Is but the court of public opinion, like we Depp. don't give a fuck. We don't we've already made? We they already, already made, made up their mind. Like when we think it happened, <coughs> it happened. Let me give you a prime, let me give you a prime ass example. Tory Lanez. Okay. The minute that that got out, the first time the story dropped in the court of public opinions, they immediately pegged Meg as the fucking criminal. Immediately. Niggas rode high horses saying that that was bullshit. 
They blamed it on the security guard. They blamed it on the best friend. They said Meg was lying. This bitch had on black air forces were twerking on stage the other day. They came up with everything under the sun other than saying Tory did that shit. When Tory got found guilty, they still refused to let that short nigga die. Okay? That's the one. Like his hair follicles. They refused to let that nigga die. Okay? <laughs> We victim blamed her the whole time. There's no we. I didn't opinion. follow the story at all. Court of public opinion. <laughs> public opinion. Victim blamed her. But there was always women, particular women. At, matter of fact, well, I mean, you know what it was. It's always, that was always, always, <laughs> when you hear something that anything of sexual abuse, sexual allegations, or rape, they will immediately blame the man, no matter what the story is. No matter what. The Johnny Depp situation is a prime example. It's true. I was always on Johnny's side, though. Mm, now you say that, but we now, don't know I've what was going on. I've always been on Johnny's side. Hey, look, Loki, don't say I fucked you if I didn't fuck you. And we'll just keep it at that. The niggas do it all the time, though. Yeah, the tip of that man's finger on. Don't say I fucked you so if I never fucked you. in that man's bed. That's a nasty woman. It, it just, Another real, I've always real, been on his side. I example. It <laughs> was it. Evidence number 61327. Of why one tone versus white women tone leaves them alone. You know what? Speaking of white women, and this is what this is the last year. Where we dude, going home? This is where we going home. So <laughs> I work in a grocery store. We know that by now. On occasions, my job has these uh store walks <laughs> where you know like a plug walk. The big no, dog, the big dogs walk in. You know, supervisors, you know, all the big ones, the owners and shit, because my job is small, you know, it's family on. Now, one of the guys walk in, and I know he don't remember me, but I happen to have my name tag on, so I feel like that's how you identify me. So he was like, (laughs) she's like, can't be the fact that you're the only black guy there? It can't be. And I got a very distinct name. So I'm like, if you remember it, I'm shocked you remembered it. So he walk up. He was like, hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. And then he reached out for a handshake. So I'm like, okay, cool. Shake your hand. And then I'm going to get my hand back. It's going to be what it's going to be. My picture's so, taken. So I shook his hand. And then he pulled like he pulled me in for the bro hug. Oh. Tapped me on the back. Was like, you doing a good job. <laughs> Crazy part is, bro, he, he like five nothing. <laughs> so he pulled you down. Short. I, bro, he's short as fuck. <laughs> And I'm all of like six two. I'm like, yo, what is going on? He's, he's so man, like a motherfucker. I was like, this shit crazy. He's a little so, a big so bro. then the one of the other owners, I see him. We check in. Now he my height, mm-hmm. but he regularly shook my hand like normal, you know, man shit. Then his wife walks up. Here's she where. Don't kiss you. Here's where I'm like, yo. I understand why Tone stay away from white women. So she was like, "That's why I was like, did she talk? Did she talk?" She was like, "Hey!" And I, was, so you know, I don't, it's just something about when people being fake, you be fake. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> and then like she stuck her arms out like this. Mm-hmm. I already knew what time it was, but I was like, "Don't walk." <laughs> she just started inching up closer, <laughs> and like I wanted to back away, but I'm oh, like, if Karen. I. I'm like, if I back up, they go think I'm on some bullshit. So I just, I just stood there and I let her hug me, and I was just like, "Why white people make shit so weird? Like, <laughs> what the ever, fuck going on?" Have you ever seen the Key and Peele skit where uh, he was Obama and he was walking down the line? Yeah, he was uh, and when it was white folks, it was a simple hug, but when it was niggas, it was yeah, love. yeah. And then the one white person thought they was gonna get love. He dogs. was doing the uh, what you call it, code switching. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. I was just like, I, I see why I'm trying to keep this distance. No, it's more too. Yeah. I, I, it may be, but in that instance, I was like, I, I mean, the fat black woman, I mean, the fat white woman twerking for a CD definitely scarred me for life. <laughs> but mm-hmm. oh, like, when when 2024, we are doing now that we got both sides, we're doing story time. <laughs> We're doing story time. We are going to have people come in and do story time. Yeah, but, you know. Because Caddy did one that made me think of it. 
long story short, white people make shit weird and people should keep their hands to themselves. So with that being said, thing. we have come to the end of this episode. Uh, no, thank all y'all for tuning in. It's legal for them to do it. It's illegal. Uh, make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms that Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever else you listen to your podcast at. We'd like to thank our guests for stopping in. You are more than welcome to come back. Uh, Sarita, you live here, so we don't even care no more. Uh, <laughs> it hurts. You can find Sarita on everything. Um, I am chronically resilient.com. Always, I am chronically resilient.com. It's, it's, it's just fuck you, you a resident. <laughs> I just gotta keep on, you know, getting my handles out every single time. You know, I am chronically resilient. I, WJMR Jamming 98.3. That's what she said. I'm just on chronic. With that being said, people, we are out of here. Hey. I'm a pirate.